These are things I learned about being in a big friend group. It's not all sunshine and rainbows when you're actually in it. It's kind of just a big group of people who just talk a lot of shit about each other. And there's always cliques within the clique. Like there's usually like a separate group chat with like the main people. And if you're like, no, there's not. <laughs> you're not in the other group chat, babe. And if you are not one of said main people, you are most likely gonna be one of the punching bags of the group where everyone kind of takes out their anger on you and just treats you like horseshit. All in all, do not recommend quality over quantity. Things I've seen girls be insecure of that I will never understand why you'd be insecure having. Chubby cheeks. Almost every insanely beautiful person has chubby cheeks. Key example, Miss Selena Gomez. And on top of that, they keep you looking youthful and they're just cute. Small boobs, bye. Small boobs are literally in right now. But almost everyone with small boobs wants a boob job. Leave those perky little miracles that sit perfectly at the top of your chest alone. Smile line. A lot of my friends are insecure of this. Why would you be insecure of something that just constantly reminds you how often you smile? Like what a beautiful thing to be like, oh my God, I hate it that I smiled so much that now that I have lines. No, body hair. There is no such thing as the right and wrong places to grow body hair. If it grows there, it means it's meant to be there. And the only person who should be dictating what you do with it, if you decide to grow it, if you decide to shave it, wax it, whatever, is you. These are some things manipulative people say. And if a certain person comes to mind when you hear these, red flag. Red flag, red flag. If you really cared about me, you would do it. If you love me, you'll do it. No the fuck not. No. No. Maybe you don't love them. Who knows? Your love shouldn't be used against you. It's so hard to talk to you because you're just so fucking sensitive. Or maybe you're just a bitch. Ever thought about that? No. Manipulating. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. I was just joking. Where's the punchline? Explain it to me. How's it funny? If we're not laughing, I'm gonna need you to look up the definition of a joke because you don't know what it is, baby. Why would I lie? I have no reason to lie. Me when I lie. Anyone who says that is lying to you 99% of the time. <laughs> when I'm calling it out, do y'all see how stupid it sounds? Manipulators, man. I've seen people do rules for dating and I wanted to give my take. One, location. I'm not someone who would want location because I'm like, oh my god, I need to know where you are at all times. I don't fucking trust you, cheating bitch. I'm more of like, I'm such a paranoid person that if you don't text me back for like three hours, I'm gonna think you actually died. So like a location would definitely be like reassuring. I think if we were like in love, you should be okay with sharing your location because I would just check it to make sure you're okay, babe. Password is not really my thing because I am so big on like privacy and just like, not that I'm hiding anything, but like, do I really want you going through everything in mind? Not really. There should be some things just for me. Girl best friend? Ew, no, nope, never, no. Unless this was like fresh out of the womb, childhood bestie, like connected by the fucking belly button, umbilical cord. I don't want you having a girl best friend. Unless you view her like a literal sister. And even then, how much? Stepsister? No, it's a no for me. Social media and like posting you and everything. Not really my thing. Don't really like PDA. Don't really like people knowing my business. So like privacy, you know? Partying, I think, is fine to an extent. If you trust your partner, then, like, you should be okay with them going out because, you know, they're not going to do anything bad. And I want to be able to go out with my girls without it being a problem, so. Liking girls' pictures, mm, iffy. But someone you have history with, hell no. Nope. Nope. And oh, nope. If it's a celebrity, I don't care. If it's a bikini, ass, pick, jiggly, titties, ass, BBL, no. Because I'll get sad. Snapchat, at your grown age... If it's for a private story, sure, go for it. But Snapchatting people? Snapchatting other girls? No. These are things people say when they're manipulating you. Speaking from experience, if you're dealing with these types of people, get rid of them. No. Bye. People who are quick to say sorry, but then never changing their actions. An apology without change is manipulation. It's a good way to kind of get you to shut the fuck up and then for them to continue doing what they're doing. Any type of you're crazy, you're insane, you're fucked when you bring up rational points. Are we familiar with the term gaslighting? How are you crazy if you're bringing up valid points? Think about it. Any type of, I'm not the only one who thinks this. Everybody thinks this about you. Everyone thinks you're this. Everyone thinks you're that. No one said shit. They're just saying that to make your guard go down by making you insecure and feel like shit to prove whatever point they're trying to prove.